Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. I am doing your mid-month of August till the end of August 2018 general and love readings. I will be doing the divine spread as I have been doing recently. I am using the Tarot 3D, right, which is the Karma or Dharma message. These are only the Major Arcana 3D cards that I use for the main message. For the rest of the spread, I'm using the Pictorial Key Tarot by David Corsi. Okay, that's for the rest of the spread. Um, now, for the extended Vimeo readings, I'm using the Sibylas, La Vera Sibila by Massangini, and also the Romance Angels Oracle Cards, which are by Doreen Virtue. Okay, those two decks will be used in the Vimeo extended readings. I'd like to thank everyone for their support, for liking, sharing and subscribing. And for the rest of the announcements that I'm going to be making in relation to what is going on with the astrology, as well as all the announcements in relation to the competition on Facebook, etc. And everything else, for those of you that are interested, that part of the reading will be at the end of all the readings, okay? That way I can start with the tarot and for those of you that are interested in the astrology part and all the announcements, again, as I just said earlier, please wait till the end of the reading and that way the people who are only interested in the tarot can, you know, go straight on to the tarot so they don't have to stick around for too long. Okay, so I will get started on your tarot at the moment. Right now, thank you again. Hello Scorpio, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and thank you for being here. This is your 15th till the 31st of August 2018 general and love reading. And I'm doing the Karma and Dharma card now. This is the divine spread that I have formulated a little while back now and I think that it's a wonderful spread because it touches upon the things that other spreads don't and the most important positions for me is the Karma Dharma position as well as the divine message. Also what is hidden and you do not know. Okay, Scorpio, for this time, let's see what is the major arcana, the karma or dharma point for you. Okay, we have the star. This is beautiful. The star is the energy of Aquarius. It symbolizes the star sign, Aquarius. It is a wish fulfillment card as well. And it is a card of healing. It's also a card of um, a hope. Okay, so there is hope here for you, Scorpio. I do believe that some wish is probably coming true for you. You do have Jupiter moving through your sign. And that alone is a very benevolent and very positive thing. Everyone, want, everyone wants Jupiter because Jupiter brings luck. Right, Jupiter brings expansion and growth and manifestation. Yes, it can expand on your waistline as well, <laughs> but more than likely, it is a very positive planet to have in your sign now. As I have said um, from now, oh my god, did you see that, people? Yes, same card just came out it just had to show itself and I've had I've had three I've done three signs already I think you are the second or the third sign that is getting the same card as the karma dharma position okay 
So this is obviously karma, good karma, which is dharma, right? Now this is the position of the root of the issue. And of course it's the distant past, obviously. For some of you, it could even be not so distant. So what is the star? If we are talking about Aquarius, Aquarius is all about social groups, associations, friends, yes, wishes and full, wish fulfillment and goals. Getting to your goals. Now let's see what's in the hidden position. Okay, in the hidden position we've got the Four of Swords. Someone is not happy. I'm using the um, Pictorial Key Tarot by David Corsi and it's not like the usual Rider weight Tarot where it shows someone meditating. This looks like someone is really down. Someone is really upset. Okay, now this is what you don't know. Okay, in the recent past. In the recent past, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. In the now position, wow. Let's say you're the fourth sign. I would, I, I believe that each and every sign got this card. So, yeah, it's so on point. It is just so on point. Now, was it Libra that had the world card there? And Virgo, I think, had the world card there. But they're the last two that I did, so that's what I remember. But yeah, the world, wow, completion. Let's see what's um, your goal. Wow, the money, the family money, prosperity, financial success, yes. Let's look at the advice and the um, action to take. We've got the King of Pentacles, dear Scorpio, and I do believe that this is you more than likely. Okay, now the outcome card is the Three of Wands. And the divine message here, this is what is happening planetarily for you. <laughs> Scorpio, this is your card, the death card. And nearly all the signs have had this. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. You don't make these things up. It's just amazing. Just amazing. There are so many similarities in all the signs. It's the energy that we're working with, right? Now we had a new moon lunar eclipse on the 11th of August um, in Leo, right, which was just a few days ago, and that is all about new beginnings. But before that, and that was an eclipse, right? Before that was on the 27th of July, which was a full moon lunar eclipse in Aquarius and it was very big. It was the longest eclipse like in duration, like it lasted for, I don't know, nearly two hours, just under two hours. It's been the biggest eclipse that's happened in the last 120 years. So that was like, it was on the south node, the south node, right, in Aquarius. South node is our past karma, what we should be letting go of because the eclipses are all about karma. They're very fated, right? Now opposite to the south node is the north node in Leo. So the eclipse, the eclipses in Leo and Aquarius have finished. 11th of August was the last eclipse. So that's been for 18 months. The eclipses have been happening in, on that axis for the past 18 months. So that was the last one on the 11th of August. So it has completed fate. Whatever has uh, brought change to your life or whatever you are still going through because we're still going through those eclipses, the energy of those, it will be lasting for about six months. So there is major transformation, okay? This is the um, divine message. So dear Scorpio, it is time 
to let go of something that something that needs to be replaced right the death card is um let's say because it's your card um you are the eighth house the eighth house is all about death and transformation it's also about other people's money um people coming from your partner what am i saying sorry money coming from your partner from other sources it comes from other people, right? From other places. It's also the house of shared resources. It's also the house of intimacy. Now, this is the hidden message. As I said, something needs to go, dear Scorpio. Something needs to go. Something may have already finished. And some of you may even be in denial. I want to say that. Why? Because... In the recent past, you have the Nine of Wands, which nines are really the culmination. It's the completion point because the ten breaks down to a one. It's like a new beginning, right? So this is just at the end, right? So what you have been working hard towards, now these are wands, and wands always speak about our creative projects, our creative pursuits, what, what we put a lot of hard work into. Also, what we feel very passionate about, right? What we want to manifest. Now, this guy looks as though he's putting up a barricade, right? He's he's very protective of what he's already built. And he's put a lot of effort here. Now, Scorpio, because you are um, the most passionate water sign out of the three, you are ruled by Pluto and Mars. Mars is all about fire right you're very fiery even though you're a water sign you're the most deepest and most passionate water sign of the three so i do believe that this is your energy here now i'm going to say that in the hidden position we've got the four of swords now fours, or fours always speak about our foundation our home um usually in the rider weight tarot there are the three swords that are at the top and then we've got the Ace of Swords down the bottom where the person is lying down, meditating, taking a break from the battle, right? Gathering up his energy and ready to go on to battle again when he gets up. Standing in his truth with that Ace of Swords. But here we've got someone who is in sorrow. That's what it looks like to me here. I don't think he's sleeping. Um... Maybe for a small percentage of you, you could be just so exhausted because that could be someone who is very literally exhausted, exhausted putting in a lot of hard work, um, trying to get to the desired outcome, right? Trying to uh, bring your wishes in. Um, but because this is the hidden position, I do believe that this is someone else. Now, let's say we had the Three of Swords up here. That's heartache, heartbreak. And I do believe that someone, you know, um, has been heartbroken. Someone is mulling over something that's gone wrong. And I do believe that this is someone that you are dealing with. And you may be dealing with someone who's got... Someone who is... Pfft, and of an air sign we've got two cards of Aquarius so I'm gonna to have to go with that more than likely Aquarian energy is here we've got it twice right now we've got two two star cards double double wishes like this is a really really good sign for me plus having the ten of Pentacles here which is crowning uh, your reading and this is also the your goal so having the card here, it's a 10. Tens are um, always getting to the end, but the 10 breaks down to an ace as well. So this is the family money. This is money that's going into the family. It could be help coming from the family. Some of you may be um, receiving support from your family. Um, this is the family heritage. This is This could be a family business that some of you are 
working very hard to continue maybe you've received um, because if this breaks down to an ace let's say having the ace of pentacles here would be like a new beginning so have you received what the responsibility because we've got the nine of uh, wands here could it be that you've gotten to a point where um, you have much more things to deal with like you've been put in charge of the business of the family business um, as I said this could be family money now this could be an opening of a will and I'm gonna have to say that because if you have literally lost someone because we've got the death card we've got someone here which looks like they are mourning right we've also got the world card which is a cycle ending right and we've also got two times the star card which is a card of healing sometimes when someone passes on um, they are healed obviously where there is suffering sometimes when it's just time to go and this is a small message okay this is not going to resonate with a lot of you it could be someone who is elderly in the family someone who was in charge so you are the next of kin you're going to have to uh, gather up all your strength right and sh make make sure that you are mature enough to accept the position of being the king look at this king of pentacles shows earth this for me is more Taurus uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn more than likely Taurian energy why because opposite to you your karmic sign right across the um, the zodiac is Taurus right so I do believe that many times Scorpio people can show up in the Taurian energy now this is all about yes abundance prosperity stability groundedness being the leader being an entrepreneur Okay, for those of you that are starting a new business, you've had the funds come in from the family, you've put in as much as you can, but then the uh, cycle is ending where you've put in the hard work. This is Saturn, right? Saturn says that if you've done the hard work, you've proven yourself, then the accolades come in. This is like a successful completion, right? A rebirth. Look at Aphrodite in here she is like being reborn so when there is a closing of a cycle there is an opening of something new okay we never stop we go through the lessons we mature we grow uh, also spiritually as well as physically and we keep going right we take on the next challenge that's what life is so I do believe that for those of you that have been dealing with an Aquarian partner, um, it is time. It is time you you may have let go, and some of you, this could also be like a family situation. Someone who was in your family, maybe this was a committed partnership relationship. Maybe you had a family with an Aquarian person and they're really really mulling over what's happened look at those four swords above his head right these are thoughts these are perceptions just the fact that he's got his head down says that he is totally beaten he's really not in a good place here so he's been beaten if this is a competitor in business you guys then this is great okay you've got all the um, the success in your hands look at this financially you are the winner you are at a place of giving the orders um, and there is a lot of promise especially with Jupiter soon in November to be finishing up in Scorpio in your sign it is moving into your money house so there is great prospects here for financial abundance and prosperity. Right. 
also another thing that I'd like to say is that Venus which is you know the goddess of love and money prosperity and what we value is in your 11th house uh, sorry in your 12th house so as soon as she moves out of your 12th house she will be moving into your first house which again is a strong blessing for you now in the um, in the final position we've got the three of wands so having gotten to a point of yes expansion because threes always speak of expansion um, and what you have already put in the work that you've done you are waiting on a return on that but it's going to take time as you can see this person is looking across the seas some of you may be dealing with international people at a distance uh, companies um, business you know moving moving overseas we do have the world card here which is a card of movement spreading your wings and starting to deal with people at a distance right foreign companies foreign people through social media now the star of the card of the star is also related to social media because that's what the 11th house is of Aquarius dealing with people social socializing being in groups right and this is anything to do with social media right because we've got the stars here which are at a distance now this position here is the root okay this is where everything stems but from grows from so this is like a blessing in the uh, distant past something I believe that a move that you have made and it can be any connection through social media that you've already started in the distant past is finally going to flourish and you will be receiving the return as I said now for those of you that have been in in relation to an Aquarius have been dealing with an Aquarian person could be Aquarius with fire in their chart as well Sun Moon or Rising Sagittarius Aries or Leo um, others of you it could be air as well as earth because we do have I would say more than likely the sign of Taurus here um, for those of you that are dealing with a Taurian or Aquarian person for some of you this is the end of the cycle with this person I'm not reading reversals so I have to go with my intuition so again it's not easy if we look at this diagonal area here okay there is there is a connection with the four of swords and with the king of pentacles now if we look at this diagonal side here we've got the world card so a completion through a a death a metaphorical um, as I said for maybe one percent of you this could be a physical death right and we've got the star here though the star which speaks of hope and healing okay healing through going through all those and we need to feel right all the emotions if this is your energy here you guys yes there is a period of mourning there is a period of trying to uh, get cleansed because that's what the star card is it's a card of cleansing right now also putting in all that hard work being at the nine and then going to the three now the nine could be speaking of because the nine of wands is a card of like taking care of what you've already built being on the lookout being on the um on the rebound right not letting anyone get to what you have built you're very protective now is it a relationship that you're very protected 
with? Could there be a lot of communication through social media if you are dealing with someone who is at a distance? Now, if we look here, whatever you have completed, I just heard like, you know, um, just like the um, poker machines, when the, the jackpot lottery hits, I just heard that. Some of you, I, I would say that is a very good time to try your luck. Try your luck with, with uh, lucky games because um, with the sun being in Leo, Leo is all about lucky games. Striking at, striking at um, lucky, taking a risk, okay, and also having enjoyment through that. So I'm not saying go and spend all your money, but it does not, you know, hurt to try a little bit. Try your luck. Two wish cards. What can I say? Okay, dear Scorpio. I will leave it at that. For those of you, uh, one more thing, for those of you that are taking your relationship to the next level, okay, I do believe that the person that you will be um, marrying or just, you know, getting to know much better, taking your relationship to the next level, as I said, and this can be an engagement as well, um, because as I said, this could break down to the ace of pentacles right then this is someone who's going to be there for the long haul this is someone that you can really depend on and they do value family very much so okay so striking it lucky through marriage that's another message that I get here okay dear Scorpio thank you thank you for being here for those of you that stay on to this video, the next part is all about the astrology and the announcements that I have. Also, for the rest of you that want to, if this resonated for you, you need to go to Vimeo to see a lot more cards for a small price. If that is what you need, um, give it a couple of days uh, and the extended reading will be on Vimeo for Scorpio. For the rest of you, I will be back for the readings of September soon. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you that have not um, have not connected with me on Facebook, I would advise you do because around the 20th of the month, I'm going to choose one lucky winner who's going to get a free half hour reading from me. So, all right, Scorpio, sending you lots of love and blessings. Stay well. All the best. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, uh, thank you for sticking around. For those of you that love astrology and that are interested in the announcements in relation to my channel, first of all, I would like to say that um, for Virgo, because we, the sun is going to be moving into Virgo, um, and today is actually the 14th of August, on the 23rd, the sun is moving into Virgo, so happy birthday to all you Virgo people out there. Just letting you know that for your birthday, the September readings, on the September readings, not in these readings, you will have the extended Vimeo reading uploaded onto YouTube, the whole reading for your birthday present from me to you with a lot of love. Now, in relation to the competition, for those of you that want to take part in the Facebook um, free reading. As I have said, I'm choosing one winner. So for those of you that have liked my page on Facebook, Divine Debut 11, um, the announcement for the winner will be made on or around the 20th of the month. So you've still got a few days where you can comment, like, and all that beautiful stuff that we do on Facebook, okay, to take part. Um, I'm overwhelmed at how many people have um, done so. For those of you that are interested in winning, thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, only one person is going to win, and I'm going to be doing this every month. So just letting you know in advance. Now, 
I'd like to thank everyone uh, for the support for the Vimeo readings. Thank you so much. The feedback and the support has been wonderful for Vimeo. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate all of you. Now, um, I'd like to also say in relation to private readings, just letting you know that in the readings, in the one hour long readings for a personal reading, I always do incorporate astrology as well as the tarot. So I do look into your chart and I do go into a few things that are important. As I said, I look at the astrology and the tarot. Those two things work together for me for a more complete reading for you. Now in the half hour readings, I just briefly look at the main things. I don't go into the astrology a lot. So when you do order a private reading, I always want and need your date of birth and um, time, place and um, like city and country of birth as well as your birthday. That's what's very important. If you don't know your exact birth time, um, don't worry about it, okay? But if you do have the exact time, it's fantastic. Now, just letting you know also that the eclipses on the axis Leo Aquarius have finished finally after 18 months. So if any of you have got very important points or planets in Leo and Aquarius, know that those energies we are moving away from. The last eclipse that we had on the 11th, three days ago, um, that marked the end of the phases of the eclipses on Leo and Aquarius axis, right? So we're moving now into the axis Cancer Capricorn. So again, those of you that have got planets and important points um, on that axis, know that the next 18 months will be important for you. Okay, let's look into the astrology just briefly. Now, as I said before, today is the 14th of August, 2018. Um, two days ago on the 12th of August, Mars um, is retrograding, retrograded, I should say, back into Capricorn, okay? Also, um, on August 19th, Mercury finally will be moving direct. It's going to be moving out of its shadow period, so... Give it a, till a beginning of September when it will be clearly direct. So it's starting to, you know, pass over the, the points of, you know, the, um, the area where it retrograded. So it's starting to pick up pace, but it's still working through its shadow period for the next couple of weeks. But it's good that it's starting to move direct. So that's happening on the 19th of August. On the same day, we've got Jupiter, Trine, Neptune. Now, Jupiter is in Scorpio. It is doing a beautiful trine to Neptune in Pisces. And that is the third consecutive precise um, trine that it's doing. It's the third trine, right, which is um, very important because it's done it three times, right? This is the third exact trine point that it's doing on the 19th of August. So there is a sense of culminating what it's trying to bring to us. So that trines are always very positive aspects, very flowing energy, beautiful, beautiful. If you can just imagine Jupiter, it's, you know, the biggest planet, the benevolent planet. Neptune is the divine love. So... Yes, a beautiful aspect here on the 19th of August, which is uh, bringing a lot of divine love to our lives. Now, just, you know, take note of August the 19th. See what it brings into your life. Now, on August 23rd, the sun enters Virgo. So again, happy birthday to all you Virgo people. Um, it's your solar return which means that the sun is coming back to your sign. It's going to be in your sign, which is what is the sun? It's clarity. It's, it's the heart. 
right? It's warmth. It's everything that has to do with our heart center. So usually when we have our solar return, all the lucky things come back into our life. It's our time to shine. It's our time to be seen in the world and what we do, what we do in our lives. Um, the sun always brings love, okay, true love, prosperity, all the beautiful things that deal with Leo because Leo is ruled by the sun. Leo is the heart. It is anything that we have created, right? Anything to do with children, being lucky as well, taking risks, having fun. A lot of joy is coming in for Virgo. Good luck, Virgo. Now, on the 26th of August, we have a full moon in Pisces. Now, Virgo, Pisces is your opposite sign, so the full moon will be there. Full moons always speak of culmination, right? Um, for those of you that are Pisces, right, Piscean people, there is a culmination happening in on the new moon in Pisces. What did you wish for? It's coming to a culmination, okay, for you. Now, on the next day, on August 27th, Mars is going direct, finally. So at the end of this month, Mars is going direct. It is going to be moving direct, but it still has its shadow period to move through. So as long as it's going direct, you know, that is uh, very positive. It still has a bit of time to work through that shadow period, but it will be picking up pace. So that is great to have. Now, a couple more things that I'd like to mention. So um, Mercury is moving direct in five days from now. As I said, today's the 14th of August. Um, in practically two weeks, Mars is moving direct. Now, a very important thing that is happening in roughly in three weeks from now, um, Saturn will be moving direct. Wow. Okay, now Saturn we know is the difficult planet. It's restrictions, right? It's having to be grounded and doing the right thing so that we can receive. If we are standing in our integrity, whatever is um, happening in Capricorn. Now, for those of you that are astrology lovers, you obviously would know where you have Capricorn in your chart. Um, know that with Saturn moving direct, um, you've had the chance to work through whatever has been um, restrictive in your life. Know that that bracket of Saturn being retrograde was giving you the chance to do the work, put in the work, right? Trying to do things, redo things. Now it is moving direct. So I feel as though with Saturn moving direct, what you have been working through with Saturn being retrograde is going to come to the, um, to, um, it's going to come, what's the word I'm looking for? To the forefront, right, for you to be able to move through. Um, again, I feel as though there is a, a, a point of receiving now. So whatever you have been working through and working on, um, with Saturn moving direct, you will have the inclinations of what is going to come to light, right? What you've put in, the hard work you've done, there will be a sense of receiving now. Also, um, in four weeks from now, so that would be roughly um, mid-month of September, Mars will be moving into Aquarius. Um, okay, so I think I will leave it at that. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, thank you all so much for... Um, taking the time out for listening, for sharing, subscribing and liking. 
um, these videos. You are so appreciated. I will catch up with all of you uh, for the readings of September 2018. Until then, stay well, stay blessed. And for those of you that are going on to Vimeo um, to watch the extended readings, thank you so much. Hope that they are helpful for you. Sending you all lots of love, lots of blessings. Bye for now.